It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have something a little bit different here on the table today, this evening. What do we have? We have Legion. Jim Beam, but mm -hmm. also Beam Suntory. Right. So the, the combination of Suntory whiskey and, and Jim Beam, and this is the first ever combination of Fred No, Master Stiller Jim Beam, and Fuji. Uh, nope. <laughs> and Can he get it? I forgot. Shinji Fukuyo is, I believe, how you pronounce his last name. Shinji, yes. Last name, question mark. Yes. Shinji Fukuyo. Who is a the fifth ever master blender for Beam Suntory. Well, I mean, before that, just Suntory, back before they- Correct. Yeah, before they acquired them. The East meets the West. Right, sort of uh, the best of Kentucky bourbon mixed with the art of blending uh, that Japanese whiskey uses. So yeah. sort of a best of both worlds kind of thing. And you've got two experts coming together to make this product, which is exciting. So it's a Kentucky bourbon blended um, and it's partially finished in uh, sherry and what's the other? The oh, it just says in wine and sherry wine casks. Wine and sherry casks. Anyways, we yep. watched an interview with Shinji and he said uh, what he liked about the wine cask finish stuff is that it brings about like a sweeter, fruitier notes in the whiskey and like that's up his alley. Partially finished in wine and sherry casks because some of the bourbon doesn't get finished in one of those casks, it's just bourbon. Others are uh, rested. I'm a little unclear about that. I think other barrels are rested in the wine and sherry casks, and then they're blended together. And I think uh, Sinji is the one who mainly did the blending. And I remember hearing Fred talk at the uh, New Orleans Bourbon Festival, and he was talking about Legion. And he was saying that there was, you know, this was several years in the making, and they were sending samples back and forth before they got things, you know, were hmm, just This reminds me of another right. collaboration. Called oh, called Long Collaboration. Branch. No, called Long Branch. And Collaboration. Oh, yeah. Well, see, we were thinking of two Chef completely and different things. Chef and Master Distiller. Yeah. Long there you Branch. Go. Actor slash creative director and Master Distiller. Everybody's collaborating these days. Wow. Which is pretty cool. I get, is this the new trend? Two true legends, one truly unique bourbon coming together to make one thing. That's interesting. That is 94 proof. Yes. And available for about $36 in total wine and spirits. There you go, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure where, what it costs around you, but whoa, that wine, <sighs> yeah. that fruit. That is an interesting nose, is it not? Very berry. Very a berry. A bright berry. Maybe just a little raspberry? I get raspberry, strawberry, a little bit of peach. I don't know, just yeah. all the fruits. A lot of sugary fruits. A lot of fruit. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty delicate. It is. Although you do get some wood notes coming through and like a nice toasted. I wouldn't call it char, it just is like toasted. With it being a bean product, I would not call it nutty. It does not have a nutty nose. I don't know, if you look deep down in there, I could get. <laughs> Search for that beam nuttiness. I see it, yeah, I found it. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess as it is under there. As powerful as their other products, but it's in there. Well also, you know, it'd be 94 proof. It's sure, I harder. think it's there. But yeah, all right, well. See what it tastes like. I still think it's nutty. Oh yeah, there's definitely. <laughs> oh, I bit my lip earlier. <clears throat> I <got> really burnt. <laughs> definitely an underlying, underlying nut characteristic. I don't think it's as sweet as he sold it. Typical Jim Beam nuttiness. I need one more sip, but. And. The finish is really short. I think I'm about ready for my second sip because yeah, yeah. the finish, the finish is pretty much gone. Wow. Yeah, like a lightly salted, toasted nut up front. Yeah. And like a lot of those fruit notes that I, were, I was getting, it's a darker fruit now, and I think it's closer to the finish, towards the back end of the palate. Um, mm, it's like, like a plum almost, but it's, um, it's going away pretty quickly. Like very different from how I thought it was gonna be based <clears throat> on the nose. This is what I'm kind of getting from it, is it's like a weak uh, cocktail. It's like hmm. a, a weak old fashioned, you know, where an old fashioned might just be. So an sugar. old fashioned with an ice ball. <clears throat> yeah, it's like some sugar, a little bit of bitters. I mean, it has that quality like, hey, I'm drinking a lower proof bourbon, but it has um, a cocktail quality to it. I kind of see what you're saying. Like, I think it would be really good in a cocktail because it has some like sugary sweet notes, but it's not 
overpowering. It's like kind of an underlying thing. And then it's got that nice like nutty toasted note. And then it's lending to that fruit also. So I think that that would be really balanced. Mm -hmm. Not that, that I would necessarily only put this in a cocktail. Like I'm no, actually enjoying, I'm enjoying it. it. It's intriguing I'm me. I'm enjoying it neat for sure. Mm -hmm. When I went back for this last sip, I was kind of just naturally breathing in as I- uh, Naturally breathing as humans do. You know, I, mean, I tend to breathe. I like to breathe. I like to breathe. It's pretty cool. It's one of my hobbies. And um, <laughs> I do it about 3,064 times a day. You know, like doing this, I just got like a, a, a lot more of sweet fruit, almost like breakfast. Um, toppings on top of a crepe or a waffle or, or something with a really light, like maybe sugar-free syrup. You mean a syrup. crepe? A crepe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like super fruity this time. Now that you know, you've had a few tastes, it's easier to pick up some, uh, some things in the smell department afterwards. I also get like a dusting of cinnamon sugar. It is there, it's light, but yeah. On top of a waffle with fruit. Now I'm hungry, I want waffles. Yeah. I think if this was a higher proof, that sweet breakfasty slash desserty quality would really come forward. I agree, but I think it would be balanced by an even stronger toasted nutty flavor. Yeah. And I kind of want it. Like, I yeah. kind of want to see this be, I don't know, one, I don't think 100 is going far enough. 110? I kind of want to see it be 110, <laughs> yeah. Creeping in Not on some, Not saying that they uh, didn't do it right. Some Russell's Reserve Obviously, they did something right. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, finished bourbons, finished whiskeys for us are a little, hit, a little hit and miss. Especially, like, sherry and port. They're, eh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but this is, is singing... A Jim Beam note that we appreciate in some of their higher offerings, mm -hmm. so not the white label, like Jim Beam Black or Bottled and Bond. Repeal um, Batch. Repeal Batch, yeah, Distiller's Cut. Mm -hmm. And it's putting in this, uh, this nice... these twists. Yeah. And, because you know, the Jim Beam Masterpiece, which, you know, is like $200, but right. we've had it at the uh, festivals and, and so forth. And that's sherry finished, right? Yeah, I believe. It's some type, I think it's some sherry type, It's finished. definitely finished. I'm always surprised by how much I like it every time I have it, you know? Yeah. Wow, the only knows. thing I wish is that this was had a longer finish and I'm not yes. getting a Kentucky hug at all. And usually by this point I can feel something. Yeah. Well, I think that's just the we're proof just, that comes along connected. with it. And uh, I don't know, but a 90 maybe it's plus a, is Maybe a, it's a Japanese greeting. Not a Kentucky hug, it's a Japanese greeting. I don't know. It's slightly there, but yeah, like you said, it's not a, it's not mm. a Kentucky hug. And every time I go back to it, I get something different. So like mm -hmm. now I'm getting a little bit of floral. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's sort of just like changing and developing in the glass. And I yeah. think that's awesome. I mean, all bourbons do that for the most part. Yeah. But it's really one of the ones I've found like most intriguing as far as it's been changing and I get something different every time I go back to nose it. Agreed. Yeah. I just... Not that nosing is what it's all about. <laughs> well, I love taking a nice deep breath as you're bringing the glass up to take a drink. Cause you're really, Getting some interesting, Gosh, interesting sorry. flavors. I bit my lip once. Now I can't stop uh, biting my go. lip. Ah, I, I like it. So let, let's come down to. May I have another sip? Sure. Let's 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 do it. I want to. Let's do it. Seconds, please. <laughs> I, it needs more thought. It needs more studying. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's a rubber cork, but it's got this little wood top. It says Kentucky and Japan, on it, and then on the inside. There's an inscription and it says two legends, one bourbon. Oh, What's what else hard? secret on the bottle, Chad? Tell <laughs> What's us. What's hard to notice um, is Fred Nose's profile, kind of Alfred Hitchcock style profile. Well, it looks like a paint sweep at first. Yeah. Like someone just went. Phew. I don't think it is, but it has his, his profile here and then Sinji's profile down here. So two masters meeting. How cool is that? Yeah, East and West. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Yeah. It's like that wine glass thing. Like, is it two wine glasses or two people's faces? Who will know? Right. The only thing that they could do for me, again, is raise the proof a little, but that's just us. We're kind of spoiled. We like high proofs we right do. now. Um, and that's just going to raise the price a little. But for a 94 proofer, I'm having a great time sipping it. And I could sip this, you know, I think all it's night. refreshing to get a unique collaboration that brings two things together and gives you this type of experience for an affordable price point. Because lately where everything's been going, I feel like everyone's just coming out with limited release after limited release and they keep getting more expensive and they're all 
finished in this, finished in that, and this many years, and like limited edition because so and so had a birthday once, <laughs> and like I, I don't know, just it's, once. It, it might be getting a little out of control, and by might be, I, it is getting a little out of control. Okay. Though I, we will continue to buy them. Sure, sure. Um, so it's nice to see something like this come out, and I wasn't a huge fan of the Long Branch. So for me, it's exciting to see like a collaboration that is, you know, supposed to be going in this unique direction that I actually enjoy for around the same price point. I, I would agree with that. And Although I love you, Matthew <clears throat> Conaghy, and Eddie Russell, please don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say this, the second pour that we had here, and good idea with that, I'm enjoying a lot more. Like, I was already on board, but I'm really coming around to this. The only negative that I can really point out is the short finish. That's how I feel too. But I think this is like a good conversation, get the night started kind of bourbon. Sitting around talking to people about it. Or you don't talk about it, I don't Finished care. Finished bourbon. <laughs> Caveat. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me. Because it's something that everyone's gonna probably get something different out of it. And it's light and easy and a great way to just ease your palate into the rest of the evening. Yeah. I'm getting know. a little bit of cake it's, in there now. I don't I'm know. having a good time. I'm having, I'm a, having a good time. Are you? I, Are you not entertained? What is that voice. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> 30, Overall. 36, 34, I've seen, you know. Um, 36, 34, there In that area, mid 30s. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's worth it, and I'm gonna give it a recommend. I'm also going to give it a recommend. I think it's a interesting little journey. I think it's, a, you know, price-wise, I think it's a safe bet for you to roll the dice and- Try just, something new. Yeah, try something new and branch out a little bit. Put um, your exploring hat on. Because we have very little experience with Japanese whiskey. Something that we'd like to start exploring more. I have had... And I think this is a little baby step into sure. that. Sure. I've had a few encounters and it's been like, whoa, I went too far too fast. I need to dial it on <laughs> back. And I feel like this is much uh, more comfortable for me. Yeah. I mean, to it's, walk down that path. It's not at all a Japanese whiskey. It's a Kentucky, finished Kentucky bourbon, but at least, you know, Sinji. Uh, You're getting a little hint. Yeah. The master blender at Suntory his taste profile, which would be, of course, Japanese whiskey. Yep. Okie dokie, well. I feel like we've talked for long enough. I think we have, there we go. So, if this is your first time here, first of all, welcome, thanks for coming in. You can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can leave a question or comment down below. Give us one of these if you wanna. Uh, also, you can find stuff like, well, not exactly this. Something but they're, like this. They're coming back. Depending on when you're watching this episode, check it out, they might be there, if not t-shirts and other uh, glassware at whiskeyambitions.com. For those who are whiskey ambitious, please check out that website. What else we have, Sarah? Well, you can become a patron. It's patreon.com slash the bourbon night and join in our community and our little conversation that we have going on there. Mm -hmm. um, Exclusive podcasts and whatnot. <laughs> other things, yeah. secrets. No. <laughs> Good, just one, one dollar. Yeah. Um, you can also shop for all the goodies that we love uh, and having our bourbon night. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. That is correct. And, and lastly, you can follow us. I know where you're going. So I was oh, like, you beat me to it. In there. No? Sure. You can follow us on all them social medias at where? it's bourbon night. Yeah, that's where it is. And social media. Social media. Everybody. Social media. Hey, go follow us on them social medias and your newfangled uh, smart device. This is why we don't normally have two pours on here. No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so that'll do it for us. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, and until next time, drink more bourbon or finish bourbon whiskeys. I thought you were gonna fall over. I would've, but the chair stopped. It's in the locked position. Darn. I know.